Okay, I'm recording. I can I can just handle it. Tell me if I look. Okay. Yes. Hello, I'm Jim Zinger, president of Hipmovation Incorporated. The reason for this video is to give you an example of how you can use hypnosis in your life for pain control. Many people have an allergy to anesthetic or a fear of being under anesthetic, or don't like the feeling of a Novocaine. Using your own mind, you have the ability to shut off any tension, any anxiety, any fear, and any pain relative to having a surgery done. Since I was 14 years old and had my first surgery and extraction of one of my front teeth, I have not used anesthetic for any surgery with the exception of one where they said they wouldn't do it without anesthetic. And that was an eye operation and I couldn't find a doctor to do it. Other than that, every surgery has been done using hypnosis. And I've had oral surgery, surgery in my back, surgery in my arms, surgery in my hands, surgery in my face. I've had extractions, I've had 10 or 12 root canals. I've had um, oral surgery where they've cut on the bone and the gum. I've had surgery on the side of my face and again using no anesthetic. Every one of us have the ability and the talent to do that, but people tend to take the easy way out being the anesthetic, which also has side effects. It's a slower healing process. It takes longer to get over it. It's, you cannot control the flow of your blood and that type of thing as effectively and as efficiently as you would like to, but with hypnosis you can do those things. Now you, as you're watching this video, think, I could never do that. Please think of the last time that you had a headache, or you hurt your leg, or your arm, or jammed a finger, and you were in a lot of pain, and it bothered you all day and all afternoon. Yet you go to not bed at night, you shut off the neuron activity that sets this pain, and therefore you had the ability to stop that pain without using any anesthetic. We all have that ability. We all have that talent. It's a learned skill. Our mind is very powerful. The subconscious is 90% of the mind. The conscious mind is 10% of the mind. And the conscious mind gets in the road inhibiting and restricting us for using our complete talents and abilities. Cut. No. Oh my no, I'll, God. I'll do another you, one. I'll do another you, one. 